Hello everybody, it's Eric, back with the Public Signar YouTube channel, and I'm eating a moon pie. Here's one of my all-time favorite clocks in my collection. It's on at least my top ten list of my favorites. The GE Model 7-480AA. I mean, 8A. I'll put it, whatever, the name's gonna be in the video title. It's a higher-end machine, I will say. It has blinking colons instead of blinking every second. It blinks twice a second. Kind of interesting. I like to look at the display. It's a nice looking clock. So yeah, and we'll have a quick overview of the controls. Uh, something I will mention is if you wish to set an alarm, when you press the alarm button, yeah, you can select one of two alarms. Pretty sure if you hold it down, it goes away. Like that. I used to use this alarm clock for a while to wake me up for school. Um, I actually use this one on radio, not the buzz, but this is one of my favorite clocks I have. That's probably why I used it for so long. Radio's on the back. We have our AM FM indicator. I mean, switch here. Back, which is our speaker. Our side, which has our tuning knob and our volume knob for the radio. I always had to say that this clock always reminded me of, of one of the 90s Dream Machines, which I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a clone of, but the size comparison is very similar to a 90s Dream Machine. This was also the first generation of the Sony Cube, at least I like to call it. There's also two versions of this. If Mike ever decides to make a video of his and upload it, um, which I'll try to convince him to do, you'll see a video of that. We only at we're only at seven subscribers. So if you find this video and you want to subscribe, I, w I I'm in dire need of subscribers. I want this YouTube channel to get somewhat popular. So hey, drop a subscription down. Anyway, let's set an alarm. For an alarm, we go. I want to set alarm one. So 12:15, and we just hit the forward button. If you hold down on it long enough, I'm pretty sure it's fast forward, as you saw. And fast forward is like warp speed. What was it again? 12.15. And our wake one will be on. If I can get it to work, um, we'll be back shortly. Now we just wait for the alarm to go off. Um, literally, I just changed a minute over. I think I said it wrong. I'm not sure if the alarm on it works. I actually never used a buzzer on it. If not, we'll do a, we'll do a band scan. I really like the look of this clock too. By the way, it's just early 2000s weird modern design. I would say. It's unique. A lot of a lot of clock manufacturers went with designs like this instead of something a bit more older and basic. That Timex I showed before, a lot of the Emersons from this time. The alarm is very quiet, but I wonder if this one gets louder over time. The volume knob does not control it. Let me put my moon pie down. Yeah, it gets louder. It does not have a blinking snooze indicator. I might as well just turn off the radio, I mean the alarm. So you hit wake one, hold it down, flashes, then goes away. Radio, we did a do on off. Oh, that's my name. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the tuner on this clock is really, really good. And the sound quality is good. It's actually comparable to the Sony, if not better. Which is kind of sad.
This thing's picking up like every single radio station, even ones that are far away. Really impressive. And an P90X, T25, and Paya. These programs really work. Just touch the word. to AM. I'm not sure if AM works on this. When I actually use this as my clock radio, I remember the alarm on it not being very loud, and I actually set it to an AM station in between, and my alarm was radio interference. So there's my early 2000s GE alarm clock radio. This is probably a longer video, but thank you very much for watching.